a while. He just sitting there patiently. That's so like, okay, go. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll pick on one point that Jeremy mentioned and then I'll, I'll elaborate further. It is true that um, small, medium enterprises are not the way they sound because uh, a lot of enterprises are in a race for automation and therefore they are not hiring that many people. So you can have an SME that is actually on a scale of revenue and profits that is comparable to uh, a, a big business, but not at the top tier, but, but a big business. It's absolutely possible. So if you filter out uh, based on headcount and size of the company, you're gonna you, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it. So mm. I think the way to look for the way to look for clients is not to punch into the sea. Or never work. Uh, this is a I can give you a very simple experiment. Do a content post. It punched to the sea anyway. It sent it sent to everyone. Look, look at your so-called vanity metrics. Who likes it? Who comments on it? And who is going to give you a deal? Chances are zero. Today, zero. Tomorrow, zero. The next day, zero. The, this month, zero. Next month, zero, right? So, you know, it, you have just, just be clear. When, when you're doing something, and which is what I write about quite often in terms of marketing, I say that, uh, think about it in terms of your inbound and outbound. So your outbound is where all your expenses are in terms of time, effort, energy, maybe budget if you have some, right? And then you have to accept that if the purpose of doing your marketing outbound is for awareness, you're not gonna get any. You're not gonna get anything mm. back. Yep. Period. Now, sorry. So that's yep. awareness, and then there's conversions, right? So now balance your time balance your energy, right? So are you going to spend 70% on your conversion? But if you want to do that, you need to have your marketing assets already up there. Then you can refine your conversion. For instance, your corporate website, then you refine your conversion. If you have nothing, you convert nothing. It's a multiplier, mm -hmm. right? So know how you're going to do it. Now, uh, finding your ideal client, thinking about the, the personas, thinking about, you know, meeting people, closing it, it's, it's always a tough conversation. It's always a tough thing to do because you need to find out who the hell resonates with you and at what level. So people can resonate with you at the evergreen level. I believe in efficiency. I believe in digital. I believe in, you know, the next decade is going to be web 3.0. I believe in this, 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 automation, robotics, blah, blah. Evergreen level. But that's the tactical level. Do they believe in what you're doing? Mm. Do they believe in newsletter as a service? Do they believe in, you know, using ebooks to, to disseminate information? Do they believe in this and that? So then you filter through. Uh, I I think that the best way to do that is to get off your ass, get out of the house and have conversations with people and not on social media. Because you will never know that the counterparty you're talking to is a real human or a bot. <laughs> I think these days bots are getting very sophisticated and I echo what Jake, uh, Jake said last week. The LinkedIn DM is dead to me. Uh, if, you're, if you're trying to contact me via that, by mm. default, I'll think that you are bought. So you got to run ahead of things. Uh, but I, I still think that the best way is to meet people. That's really the best thing to do. Then you will know. Mm. You, you build a repository of um, people in your head. Like, so the next time when you meet someone again, you can very quickly index, hey, he, he resembles this lady that I spoke to who's always very enthusiastic, but always doze off when I bring the contract out. I don't want to waste <laughs> my time. Let, let's move on, right? So, so you build your, your muscle memory on that. I think, I think that matters more. Uh, and then if you, still, if you are still betting big on social media content, use that more for awareness. Uh, use that more on your passive level. 
But if you are really talking about closing the last mile from marketing to sales funnel, get off your ass. You got to get out. You got to get out. People are sick of all the bots and the DMs. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, they're, they're sick about it. In fact, I, I, I don't know how many people actually rejoice when Facebook is down. <laughs> <laughs> 